Welcome to the captivating world of Sir Fred Hoyle, a brilliant British astronomer, cosmologist, and science fiction writer who left an indelible mark on the scientific landscape. Born on June 24, 1915, in Bingley, West Yorkshire, England, Hoyle's intellectual curiosity and relentless pursuit of knowledge drove him to achieve greatness in multiple disciplines. His groundbreaking work in stellar nucleosynthesis, alongside colleagues William A. Fowler, Jeffrey R. Burbage, and Margaret Burbage, revolutionized our understanding of how elements are formed inside stars. Their seminal paper, known as the B2FH paper, remains a cornerstone of modern astrophysics. Hoyle's intellectual boldness led to the coining of the term, Big Bang, during a BBC radio broadcast in 1949, even though he initially used it to challenge the theory. The term, now widely accepted, describes the explosive birth of our universe. Beyond his scientific achievements, Hoyle was a passionate advocate of the panspermia hypothesis. He believed that life's complexity could not solely be explained by Darwinian evolution, leading him to propose that life might have originated from microorganisms or spores brought to Earth from space. Fred Hoyle's skepticism about Darwin's theory of evolution and his interest in panspermia can be traced back to several factors in his scientific background and personal beliefs. 1. Complexity of life. Hoyle was fascinated by the complexity of life and the intricate biochemical processes that govern living organisms. He argued that the probability of life arising spontaneously through random mutations and natural selection was extremely low, given the complexity and specificity of biological systems. 2. Panspermia hypothesis. Hoyle was intrigued by the idea of panspermia, which had been proposed by other scientists before him. The concept of panspermia suggests that life may have originated elsewhere in the universe and was brought to Earth by someone. Hoyle found this idea appealing as a potential explanation for the origins of life on Earth. Sir Fred Hoyle was indeed a vocal critic of certain aspects of Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection. His criticisms mainly revolved around his skepticism about the idea that random mutations and natural selection could account for the complexity and diversity of life on Earth. Hoyle argued that the probability of life arising spontaneously through purely random processes was so astronomically low that it was essentially impossible. He famously used the analogy of a tornado sweeping through a junkyard and accidentally assembling a Boeing 747 to illustrate his disbelief in the likelihood of life's complexity arising by chance. Instead, Hoyle proposed his idea of panspermia, which suggests that life's origins might lie in microorganisms or spores arriving on Earth from space. He believed that life could have been seeded intentionally by someone or distributed through cosmic processes, rather than having evolved solely on Earth. Later in his career, Hoyle even explored the concept of intelligent design, suggesting that the intricate complexity of living organisms pointed to the work of an intelligent creator rather than unguided evolution. It's essential to note that Hoyle's ideas on evolution, panspermia, and intelligent design were met with criticism and skepticism, and were considered controversial and have not gained widespread acceptance within the scientific community. No wonder why. While some of his ideas were met with skepticism, controversy from governments, their institutions, and their appointed scientists, there's no denying the enduring impact of Fred Hoyle's contributions on astrophysics, cosmology, and our quest to understand the universe.